Hey, good to see you. You ready to scout out the new festival site with us? Joel sorted out the transport. Things could get a little choppy on the way. Oh, no. No, no. What's he done this time? Boat? Plane? Helicopter? Well, sort of all of the above, really. Yes, nice. Let's get going. So, looks like some sort of cave formation. Well, what do you reckon, Beck? Shall we put the festival in here? Do you know how the tide works, Alex? Come on, let's keep going. Look at that mountain. First chance I get, I'm going up there. What do you reckon, Jay? Jay? Where's Jay? So, hello there, everyone, and welcome to um, Back to Forza Horizon 4. Today, we are here on Fortune Island, which, um, Which um looks there are, there are actually islands like this that exist. Um, wow, raining! This place is perfect for Horizon. Oh, cool. That's very big lightning there, and that's a very big contact with the corner. Um, that thing. Well, they're all ready up ahead, but we're not out. To, it's not that many. It's just about driving here and trying not to get hit by lightning. Um Lorry's turned over. Gonna have to take a detour off road. That's nice. I mean, we are only in a you know in a ram vehicle, so which which they of course which the game gives you, so um oh good lord that tree's just come down. That lightning was way too close. That lightning was definitely way here's some abandoned houses. Because obviously these people, when they went and settled, they, um, on these islands, which, they built these houses and of course they just abandoned them when they came, really didn't come viable to live there anymore. Um, yes, can we take a shortcut down here? No, the game will not let us take a shortcut down there. Yes, um, really stormy now, and let's hope we don't get hit by lightning. Lightning, I'm pretty sure the game has probably glitched at some point, and somebody actually has got hit by lightning in this game while it's been a stormy. Sorry for the detour. How are we all lost doing? that. No, oh, that's a lost corner there. Is it anyway? Um, there's a fast way into the port, but you may want to hold on. Okay, well, let's go. Big jump, Aurea Borealis are out as well, which is nice. Wow, <laughs> the locals must know we're coming. They left the lights on. Okay, this looks like the perfect spot to set up the festival. Fortune Island is a go. And just like that, magically, the festival's just been built just like that. Driver here on the island. Make your way through the qualifying rounds and race for the chance to be crowned the island conqueror. Now, somewhere on Fortune Island, the Horizon Festival has hidden a chest containing one million unmarked non-consecutive credits. To trace its location, First, you'll need to solve this riddle. Listen closely. The massive truck stomps around like a T-Rex. Roar through the speed zone at festival's apex. Seems clear enough. That's a speed room. 
Festival's apex. And this is a massive truck. So yes, Westwick. This place doesn't exist, but it's been modelled on lots of um, islands that Britain has. So that's what they try to model it on and then try and um, give it a little bit more hor horrifying weather than... You have arrived at your destination. Very nice. Transmitting approximate coordinates and photographic reference. Match them up for the exact location. Well, we couldn't make it too easy for you, could we? Well, I'll find that in the, the... You've solved the riddle. Nice work. I'll find that in the end of the episode. For the end of the episode, that one. But here we are, Westwick. Waterfront access, delightful architecture, and would you believe, not a single noise complaint from the locals. I think that last part was true before we showed up. <laughs> last part was definitely true before we showed up. And somebody drive by us just, just decides to take down the things. Okay. So that is what we have got planned. Um and find that. Now we're going to go and also have a look at some races. So here is the island map in full. If you want to pause at any point and have a look in more detail, then feel free. Obviously, map points north. That's generally what map, most maps do nowadays. But um, not all of them. But um, we've got um, usual stuff. But we're going in an Audi RS6 to go and have a little race down. Um, on the thing and look at that drop um, this is not a place you want to be if you've got vertigo you have at or sphere of heights um, because tr um, it can get quite um, tough okay it doesn't like our RS6 so we're gonna have to buy a car because I don't appear to have any that are in range okay Um, we actually have a bit of credits available, so we could actually just buy. Oh, one of them. But I think we need a car that um will work well on the island and um and not because of course it's a thing. We're going to go for a 911 Turbo, um, something that's cheap and something that will potentially work off road as well a little bit I just I just think we'll just go for some colors shall we special colors yeah we'll go for that dark Ferrari red and unfortunately though this race didn't really go up well the Porsche really didn't have it as we get shoved in the wall by Ryan L83 um, and by our rating is Aston Martin. I mean, these cars belong at Monaco, surely, not in some desolate island going down a mountain, down a, a road that hasn't been tarmac since 1933. I mean, just look at the amount of potholes. I mean, your suspension would be absolutely ruined if you were actually to drive one of these cars on the thing but this unfortunately isn't this car nor this track is to my liking um, and we are down 11th place so it hasn't really gone well scenery is nice but other than that um, I'm not liking the car isn't really to my liking really um, and neither really is um, the course really um, locking up all the time and so on is really something that you don't want to do it's just a, that this car does not have good enough flow for what I'd like so um, we are still in 11th Ryan out L83 
is still in that 12th place if we go down to the duck fast bit don't clip the thing over the bridge no jump there okay we, I think we're coming up to the end we're coming down into the town and Ryan is now going up the inside we're going to close him off and that's going to go wide Okay, got coming up to the finish line. No! Well, that's going to be last. That is going to... That just sums up that race, that ending. <sighs> no point looking at the results. Finished last of all. The first time I've done that on this game. Doesn't really matter about the influence anyway, because we're up to level 19, but not in the road racing, so we don't get a Lamborghini. And we've got a super wheel spin, which will be no doubt be three useless items that there has ever been. Oh look, only 100 and 150 k is the, literally what I'd be spending on. Anyway, um. Let's go move forward. I, des I decided to go for a car that would be better off-road for this next one, and that is the Nissan. We still had to use fast supercars, um, but we were doing a lot better off-road, as I, uh, I always do off better better off-road than I do on track in this game. It's just, I, I don't know why, because my background is tracks, but nevertheless, road racing isn't something here, but anyway. Um, as it's see we've got a bit of a storm brewing here. We're in third we're up to third, so it's we're doing we're doing definitely miles better than what we are doing here. Noble 2909 is up here. Let's move on to the final lap. This is a circuit sort with a sort of partially on road. A bit like it's a rally no, tell you what it is, it's rally cross. Um, because it's um a bit of on road and a bit of off road, but now oh, we're not doing, for some reason of course, I don't do that well on road. How do we manage to get that without a rerun well thing? Because that was a very wide there. We're going to go a bit of ca caution there, but we actually just took the lead by crashing our way into the lead. For Britain, we don't want that laggy Australian getting into first place. It's definitely don't we're on the last lap we take we have the lead now can we hold on um take this bit nice and steadily break the corner a little bit of the handbrake oh, although it is electronic see mcmardock's getting close with the water oh understeer it wise and the laggy australian has got us back and it'll have to second the second place to a laggy australian oh di well it's better than 12th, but it's still a long way away from win. Oh my goodness, what is he wearing? Got good rewards for that, though. I know you're racing in the Island Conqueror, but I'll be keeping the Horizon Dirt Series active as well. Partly because we have to keep things official, but mostly for all the stories I can take back to the mainland. We've unlocked round two as well, um, which is unlocked. But the Nissan is definitely more of a car for me as a po when compared to the Porsche. As uh, so now it's time to find the um, one million one million dollar credit chest. So that's definitely the picture, obviously. So let's go into um, drone mode and have a look and see what we can find. So there's the car, we'll leave the car. This is the town. There's somebody who's I think was at level 970, which means they probably play Forza every single week through this um, thing. There's a laggy a laggy Brit. But um not of all I did find in the end it's actually in this warehouse here. Just smash right into Come the on. chest and won a million. Our first Fortune Island millionaire. How do you feel? Different? Well, before you retire to a Caribbean island, 
Let me just say, we'll be releasing one treasure chest in each round of the Island Conqueror. If, you know, you wanted to stick around. Okay. So let's see what else is... There's a couple of new stuff. Now, I don't know what that was. I couldn't quite see, but that's what we're going to do next. And we've overshot. No, we haven't. No, we haven't. Just look at that. This is what the hidings look like. Um, not apart, not with that mountain, but um, with the high cliffs and the cliff over the end. Alex Afro has got a quite nice Ferrari there. Trailblazer. This way to see the place. Easy. Trailblazers. Drive through the entry gate and don't slow down till you get to the flares at the other side. That's it. They're flooring to the flares as fast as possible. Okay, well, this is, we're just going to, this is basically, um, just going to straight line it. Literally floor it until we get to the, to the end there. Okay, good. Uh, no, no, that shed is, um, that shed is, um, solid. Well, I'm pretty sure a corrugated iron shed would not stop a, be able to stop a car at 145 miles per hour. But anyway, um, apparently in this game, it's a solid structure. Again, them, what the, some of the physics aren't correct. Like they had the, um, they had the. Um, This road in the first place, or that they've managed to hide it from us for so long. So yes, that's going to be it. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you see more videos like this. Until the next video, I'll see you next time. Take care. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.